Hello, welcome to another 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player review. In each one of these special one-off videos, we're going to look back on each one of the senior players who pulled on the mighty blue and white this season. We're going to scrutinise their effort and grade their overall performance. And in this episode, we're going to review Paul Downing. <laughs> Defence has been an area of concern for me for quite some time. Even this season we made some howling errors which cost us points. Fortunately those points were not necessarily needed, but they could have been averted. Our choices for centre-back for the past two, maybe three seasons have looked worryingly bad. For the past two seasons we've opted for two players whose preferred position is often midfield in Lenehan and Mulgrew. This option worked out well towards the end of the season, however, we started the season with Elliot Ward at the back, which didn't look especially good in the first few games of the season. On transfer deadline day, Mowbray made a bold move and brought in Paul Downing on loan from Struggler's MK Dons. Who? That was my initial reaction. If the lad can't get a game with MK Dons, can he really get a game time with Rovers? He did, and he did pretty well. Downing may not be Colin Hendry, but he was decent. Very comfortable defender, one we have lacked for a couple of years. In fact, he went on a nice unbeaten run with the side. The lad did so well, but only made his move permanent one in January, and I for one was happy for him. Ward was shipped out to MK Dons and was upgraded to a capable League One defender in Paul Downing. The lad even bagged a goal for his troubles. When it was time for him to take a back seat as Lenehan returned from injury, I felt sure that we had a man on the bench should we need cover or extra defensive man on the pitch. Next season, will Downing be able to get much game time? Time will only tell. As for his 2017-2018 rating, a solid B plus for me. So let's take a look now at Paul Downing's uh, statistics this season. Uh, all in all, he was involved in 48 matches uh, this season, and that is also for his games at MK Dons, as well as Blackburn Rovers, and in all competitions, League One, the Capital Cup, FA Cup, and uh, the Johnson Pitt Trophy. So they're all combined here. 48 matches, he's only scored the one goal, uh, involved in one assist, he kept 11 clean sheets. He only uh, conceded 28 goals throughout those 48 matches, which equals around about 0.5 goals per game. Uh, and he averages around about one goal conceded every 100 minutes. He was involved in 64% of all possible first-team football for Rovers, and he was actually substituted on three times and off the one time, and he picked up five yellow cards for his troubles. As for League One only, uh, Paul Downing was involved in 28 games, uh, winning 18 of them, drawing eight, and he picked up two defeats. And he did score that one goal uh, for Blackburn Rovers in the league, which equals around 0.04 goals per game. All in all, he was involved in 2,400 minutes of first-team football. And his last five fixtures for Rovers looked like this. Three wins, a draw, and that defeat up against Charlton. In fact, he's on uh, actually on a two-game... Uh, two games without a win streak and he's actually lost two games in the past 28 matches uh, he's gone 18 games without scoring a goal he's involved in 7% uh, 7 percent of the matches involved with Paul Downing have resulted in defeat and he's actually scored in 4% uh, of the games that he's involved in uh, he went on the uh, six game winning streak with Blackburn Rovers losing one game uh, he, basically he didn't lose any games back to back um, went on 20 games without a loss. Now that is a balmy statistic right there. I don't know. Maybe maybe that had something to do with his MK Dons stint because I haven't seen that numbers for any of the other defenders. 18 games without scoring and one. Uh, yeah. So let's let's have a quick gander. Now we started off at MK Dons, two defeats. So no, hey, it's all all with Rovers. I guess his. Uh, yeah, it's not bad for him. Not bad for him to be involved in, in that kind of that kind of number right there. Well, that's your lot, folks. If you've enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And also, you can join me right back here tomorrow for yet another 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player review.